in this video let us do a quick recap of the various plane figures and their areas and perimeters the first one would be rectangle now let us consider this figure ABCD which is a rectangle and its length denoted by L and breadth denoted by B its perimeter would be 2 times length plus breadth and its area would be length into breadth now let us go to the next plane figure which is square so now let us consider the square ABCD square is nothing but a closed figure which is in which all the four sides are equal so one side is A rest of the sides are also A perimeter of a square would simply be uh, 4 times A because all the four sides are equal you can either do A plus A plus A plus A just multiply A by 4 times because it's got 4 equal sides let us go to the area area would be A square because again all the four sides are equal multiplication of the two adjacent sides would be A and A which is A into A is A square or side square and for square there is another way of finding out the area so that area would be half into the diagonal square diagonal is nothing but the joining of the two opposite corners of a square so half into AC square or half into DB square is also going to give you the area of the square let us go to the next plane figure triangle we have a lot of different kinds of triangles so let us first start off with right angled triangle so let us consider the right angle triangle ABC perimeter of this triangle would be AB plus BC plus C because we, need, we, we just need the total length of the sides of a closed figure and area would be half into base into height now here if you consider the base to be BC the height definitely is AB if you consider the base to be AB the height definitely is BC it is right angled here so therefore half into base into height equals half into BC into AB where BC being the base and AB being the height here or if you want to interchange it will be half into AB into BC let us go to the next kind of a triangle which is called as isosceles triangle So now let us look into isosceles triangle. Now we all know that isosceles triangle is a triangle in which two sides are equal and the third side can be either greater or lesser than one of the lengths of the two sides. Now the first point would be let us consider the isosceles triangle ABC and AB and AC are equal so which is denoted by X and X and then we've got the third side BC which is a and it is divided by this line as a by 2 and a by 2 so now perimeter of this triangle is nothing but AB plus BC plus CA obviously because it is the total length of the sides of the closed figure so here we have AB plus BC plus CA or BC is A so therefore BC is A and AB and CA are at X and X so X plus X is 2X so that is the symbol here now let us see how do you calculate the area for this now area again is the same as this one it's half into base into height so here we have half into base base is very simple A, A by 2 plus A by 2 which is A but how do you calculate the height well this is a right angle triangle so you have the length of this side and you have the length of this side all you have to do is find the length of the middle dotted line by using the Pythagoras theorem which leads to this so and hence we found the area of the isosceles triangle now let's now look into equilateral triangle as the name suggests it is equilateral so all the three sides of this kind of a triangle are equal which is denoted by A, A and A so obviously perimeter of this triangle is going to be a simple thing you just have to three times the side gives you the total length of the sides of this closed figure so here we have 3A now the altitude now why do you need the altitude here altitude is nothing but the height so this is the height again same as the isosceles triangle uh, because area is half into base into height 
So we've got the base as A, but the height is something we don't have. We need to find out. So considering this right angle triangle, we've got this as A and this as A by 2. So using the Pythagoras theorem, we get this as root 3 by 2A. So here we have root 3 by 2A. Therefore, the area is nothing but half into base into height. So half into base is A into height is root 3 by 2A, which gives us root 3 by 4A square or root 3 by 4 the side square. And hence, we've got the area of the equilateral triangle.